Last night, the UNOHFCA hosted Fairview grad Brad Hertig. He told his miraculous story about how he lost his left hand and his right arm in a machining accident when he was just 17 years old. It was in the prime of a successful football and baseball career. I came home again, basically to start a new life without hands. And it was crazy. Like, what do you do with this? I mean, think about this. I mean, how often do you use your hands? You, I mean, you use them all the time for everything. And I didn't just lose one, I lost both. And there was no spare. Like, what do you do with that? But I still had big questions. Like, why God? Like, why did you let this happen to me? And what am I gonna do with my life? Like, the, the day of the accident, I was supposed to be out playing a varsity Acme baseball game, chasing down a fly ball in the outfield. Instead, I was laying in a hospital bed, unable to pick up the, a spoon to, to feed myself. Once Brad was whisked away to the hospital, some volunteers came in to comfort those who had witnessed the accident. Amongst that group, his best friend and his twin brother. And she was talking to him and trying to tell him, you know, it's going to be okay. And he actually responded back to her. And this is, this is after, this is after Chris had to go back to the machine and pull out what was left of my hands and try to put them in a bag for the hospital. This is after he heard the helicopter fly over knowing I'm going somewhere but doesn't know where. Says to her, I know Brad's gonna be okay. He's not gonna have to deal with, deal with this forever. And what he's really saying there is the, the hope that we have as believers. Leaning on that, the fact that this world is a temporary place. And this situation for me, I totally believe, is a temporary thing.